Hey guys, good morning. This is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Uh, today I'm going to talk about riders, endorsements. These are modifications to an initial policy. Um, and they're very important. Uh, you know, each one pertains specifically to a certain situation, a certain item. Um, an example of a rider would be, uh, say, jewelry, or if you have a special um, collection of, uh, like, Hummels, you know, some type of figurines, your typical policy will cover contents, and that is known as a content, you know, a, you know personal belongings, but it only has a certain limit. So in the event you would have a situation where these are stolen or just damaged in a, a horrible situation such as a fire or, or what have you, um, this is where most policies are going to give you a coverage of somewhere between 2,500, 3,500 on the, the high side. And that's it. So if you have a, a, a collectible group of items that are, let's say, $62,000, and you actually have receipts, it's been appraised, it's been, you know, evaluated, you know, a certificate of authenticity, then, you know, you're not going to get paid for that. You're going to be uh, <laughs> in bad shape there. So what do you need to do? You need to reach out to the insurance company let them know verbally, number one, and then they'll have you send documentation. Sometimes they'd like to have a picture. Pictures are, are very important. They can keep that for the file. And then they, they will work with you. That, that's not a problem. They're very easy to help you. I, a lot of times there is an added cost. Uh, there has been once or twice a, a very isolated where you won, but typically you have to expect that there will be an increase in your premium. Uh, but, you know, I mean, from the insurance company standpoint, their liability has just gone up. And from your standpoint, you have a lot to lose. Your liability of, of receiving, uh, which, well, liability is usually a negative thing, but, you know, you're, you know, I'm not sure what we'd call that. But anyway, you know, so in this case, you want to make sure that you're covered. You have the protection. Well, <clears throat> getting that, letting them know, detailing it, certificates, appraisals, whatever they would request, uh, and you're covered. You know, a situation where uh, something else that you'd have that actually helps the home, and that would be an endorsement for a sump pump. Now, a sump pump, what, what is that? Not every house has that. If you have a home and you do not have a basement, chances are you probably don't have a sump pump. Uh, some people that have basements still don't have sump pumps, and that's great if you don't. But if you're one of those people that do, <clears throat> and that is normally there is a sump or a collection area in one corner of your house, and the perimeter of the basement is designed in a way, dug out, cut, however you want to put it, where it will divert water that may have seeped into the home from you know below grade and it will go through that channel and divert it over to that collecting point, the sump, which then has a pump in there. And as the water fills up to a certain point, that pump will automatically pump the water out through a discharge hose outside, hopefully away from the home, and everyone will be happy. Um, that is a situation where it keeps the basement from filling up with water and causing damage. So there you have what's called an endorsement of a sump pump. Uh, and if you don't have one, like I say, you don't have to worry about it. How's that? <clears throat> so I, I uh, want to just touch base. There are some other things, you know, guns can be, uh, you know, there, there's sometimes you just want additional coverage for something else. Uh, you may have some really high end of something and you need to address that. So you need to talk to the insurance company. And that's something that when we do a policy review, we come in, we look at your policy, 
we look at the surroundings. We look at your home. We see what's in there. Oh, is this covered? Did you talk to the insurance company about this? Oh, you. And and if you haven't, you know, we say, we suggest that you strongly do, <clears throat> because, and there's a great possibility that may not be covered, uh, or for the additional dollars that you would want it to be covered for. So guys, this is Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster, trying to give you some more information out there. Uh, if you liked what you heard, please give me one of these. Uh, and please would you share that. Uh, there, you may have a relative or a neighbor that may have certain collectibles or what have you. And has never given any thought to, oh, geez, you mean that's not covered? Let them listen to this. Give them some food for thought. If they have questions, give me a call. How would they reach me? I'm glad you asked that. Well, my phone number is 610-213-8820. Or you can email me at Steve. Wallbach, W-O-L-B-A-C-H, at Ymail, the letter Y, mail.com. Send me a question, call me, uh, reach out to me, let me help you some way, and I'll be glad to do it. As I say, if you're interested in a policy review, I'd be glad to come out. We're scheduled, it doesn't cost you a cent. My point is to come out. Look and see your policy. See if you have coverage adequate for what your home really is uh, and has within it. And if it does, then we're fine. If it doesn't, I will give you suggestions to call the company and ask them about this. Let's ask, how about this here? Or what about that? I don't sell insurance, so I'm not, I don't come out to the house to bash your policy and then say, uh, oh, uh, well here, this one covers everything, get this one. I don't do that. I'm here to make sure that you have proper coverage, so in the event something happens and now we have to call upon the policy and the policy's limits, that there's proper and adequate coverage there that I can use as an adjuster for you to go to the against the insurance company to make sure we get paid on everything we need to get paid on. All right? So thanks again for listening, guys. Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. What more to say? Uh, enjoy your day, and God bless you.